We work very hard on the culture here. Um, we start by saying it's a culture of excellence in lawyering, coupled with an honesty and loyalty to each other and to our clients. On top of that, the firm espouses a very entrepreneurial, open, transparent, and empowering system uh, that is attractive, we believe, to clients and to fellow lawyers. We're very proud of our history. Uh, the firm dates back to 1893. The Smith brothers hung out their shingle in downtown Atlanta for, at that point, and uh, the rest is history, so to speak. Another one of our founders, uh, Mr. Gambrell, E. Smythe Gambrell, was the driving force behind the establishment of the Atlanta Legal Aid Society. And we continue to be significant contributors to legal aid and other pro bono initiatives. Well, growth is part of our strategy. We have tried to focus on markets where we think we can project our resources uh, effectively for clients. Uh, that is both nationally and internationally. It was a major step for us about eight years ago to go into New York and to build a very credible presence there. Uh, as we have today. It really increased the profile of the firm in a dramatic sense. The international side, the, the recent offices there are an outgrowth of our 30 plus years of international practice, um, representing clients in international matters and also clients in the aviation world. So an outgrowth of this uh, activity for international focus was to actually be physically present in, in several international offices. We have key strengths in the core practice areas that are encompass most any area of business law. Uh, in addition, though, we have certain what we call differentiators for us, or rapid growth areas. One of those is international, another is aviation, which we date back to our founding of representing Eastern Airlines. Another is a very deep bench in the M&A practice in mergers and acquisitions that we do virtually all over the world. We also have a full-service IP practice ranging from litigation on one hand to prosecution and opinion work on the next. Um, lastly, I would note our class action defense practice, which is national in scope and which we represent clients in uh, virtually 50 states. So we advocate a very strong professional development for our associates, both in an entrepreneurial sense, developing that skill set, as well as developing the legal skill set. We stress that that's very important for every associate's, not just how well they do in the practice of law, but their professional development as practicing lawyers long term. Um, associates here have a real stake in the firm. We view them as future owners. They are the lifeblood of the future of the firm. And, you know, I've always viewed my position here as a trustee for the future. Uh, with the firm's long history. I'm a person in this particular period of time, but there will be others coming after me to preserve what I consider a very valuable asset. What's very important to us is that every client understand that they are extremely important to SGR. In terms of our interests, our pecking order of interests, clients come first, the firm comes second, and the interests of the individual lawyers come, come third. Every client brings something different to the mix. We learn from our clients and hopefully they learn from us and draw value from what we do. Uh, so I want every client and every person out there, potential client, to know that we are here to help, to be responsive and to bring meaning to what we do for them.